All right, scrappers. Today I got this it's a cake mi cake mixer thing. It was in the trash at the school I clean. Sounds like they broke it. Oh, well, free scrap for me. I'm gonna start by cutting the cord really short. And how does this come apart? I don't know how. Spill my beer. That's all I really want, anyways. An electric motor. A little bit of cast aluminum in there, too. Couple little wires in here. <laughs> That's about it. I got some plastic to recycle. Uh, electric motor. Looks like I can get the copper out of that. pain in my butt aren't you? This doesn't always go well. But this copper is worth getting out. It is worth the time it takes to get it out. You know, why get why get 35 cents a pound for electric motor? when you get a couple bucks a pound for copper. My blade's too sharp. That's what that problem is. Somebody commented that I should bolt this down. Well, this is what you get. This is how big my workbench is. I don't have much workbench space. So I like to kind of freehand it. Oh, it's been the biggest pain in the butt ever. Definitely worth it. So now, so I got all that nice number two copper. Nice piece of heavy melt. Bunch of wires. Pieces of cast aluminum. 
this plug end. Put on a glove and you pry the ends out. Just like that, nice and easy. So then you got brass and bare bright. Some plastic. And now for the motor. Sometimes these you can get the rod out. But not on this one. Sometimes it slides out easily. So I'm going to sell this as electric motor. I'm going to put everything together, see what we got. Alright, I got some cast aluminum. And I'm going to sell this as electric motor, like 35 cents a pound. This is a nice piece of heavy melt. It's over a half inch thick. We'll buy this heavy melt. And I got a couple pieces of brass for my brass bucket. Got some tin, some number two copper, and some number two insulated. So uh, not that bad. A couple minutes worth of work for a couple bucks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.